It is that time of year once again when all eagles have flown to their nests here in the New Jerusalem to join the appointed Son of God, Pastor Apollo Sikibolo, in the annual Royal Tribute to the King. That's right, Chris, and all roads lead to the Kingdom Nation as thousands of Kingdom citizens, sons and daughters of the Almighty Father celebrate the Feast of the Passover and the 33rd anniversary of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Sunshine Media Network International special coverage of Tribute to the King. I'm Chris. Join me as we bring you the proceedings of this royal ceremony. Yes, and this is also the official opening of the 22nd International Kingdom Leaders Convention, where Kingdom administrators, senior ministers and coordinators, and thousands of Kingdom leaders have brought in their tribute offerings to the world headquarters of the Kingdom Nation here in the New Jerusalem. And as we speak today, the Kingdom of Jesus Christ compound is upbeat with delegates coming from different parts of the world, arrival for the annual conference. The International Kingdom Leaders Convention is the largest and most prestigious event of the year, drawing front runners from more than 3,500 kingdom-like congregations all over the world. The Davao International Airport became a hype of activity with the arrival of kingdom leaders who are ready to share their extensive knowledge and establish vital relationship with other KLC heads. Delegates are also for a series of lectures and fellowship in the New Jerusalem, expecting fruitful days ahead with the appointed Son of God. Excitement is building up in the Kingdom of Jesus Christ compound as thousands of delegates arrive for the 22nd IKLC and the tribute to the King. In keeping with this splendid merrymaking, taxi preparations were made transforming the Kingdom estate into a royal setting fit for sons and daughters of the King of Kings. Now all eyes are upon the New Jerusalem. The whole world is yet to see another history in the making in the tribute to the King where Kingdom emissaries pay homage to the appointed son. That's right, Jackie. All of you can join us in this Royal Kingdom ceremony by tuning into www.smni.com, apollokiboloy.com, and kingdomofjesuschrist.org, and on social media via facebook.com slash apollokiboloy and youtube slash sunshine media. And right now, the tribute to the King is about to begin in the JMC Plaza Square, where the event is going to unfold. Again, this has been Chris together with Jackie. Happy 33rd anniversary, anniversary and long live the King! In this grand opening of our 33rd anniversary of the Kingdom Ministry on Earth, we celebrate the Father's 33 years of goodness, 33 years of kindness, 33 years of love, 33 years of peace and joy here on Earth. And tonight, 6.5 million sons and daughters of the Holy Nation coming from all parts of the world have waited eagerly to join us in this occasion. This grandiose tribute to the King is happening at this moment at the fully lighted 
Jose Maria College, Plaza Square, here in Davao City, Philippines. The Tribute to the King is one of the most anticipated events of every faithful Kingdom citizen who have delivered the fruits that they have sown so hard. And now they are being represented by their respected Kingdom leaders to offer their tributes as well. Marching in the Royal Parade is the flag of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name above every name. The Kingdom Nation is a kingdom where the Almighty Father's righteousness reigns. It is the only nation where His voice is the voice of His people and His will is the will of His people. It becomes law and His kingship is given high respect by absolute obedience to Him beginning with His appointed Son. The nation of Israel has been significant to the birth of the Kingdom Nation. This is the first chosen nation of the Almighty Father, with the Jews as the first chosen inheritors. But they rejected to hear the real message of the Almighty Father, paving the way for the Gentiles to take part on the real message of salvation, revealed by His appointed Son, giving birth to the new Israel. Presenting the flag of the Philippines, the new Israel, the chosen nation of the Almighty Father, when He established His righteousness here on the earth today. This is a blessed nation where the perfection and completion of the Father's work of salvation was completed in the life of His appointed Son. Here come the various flags of the United Nations under the banner of the Kingdom Nation, carrying the flags of the world where the Kingdom work has expanded, led by Kingdom ministers coming from different Kingdom-like colonies around the world, from Asia, Middle East, Africa, North America, Canada, Latin America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. the flags of the nations under the rulership of the Almighty Father, our God and King, representing the immensity of the Son's dominion, inhabited by sons and daughters who are imbibed with a new heart, mind, and spirit. They have been made a new creation as these former encampments of darkness have become sentinels of light, a vast fertile soil that has been bringing forth an abundant spiritual yield, the birthplace of sons and daughters who have been freed from the serpent seed. April 13, 2005 is the completion of the Father's work of salvation in man. This is the kingdom age, the time of fulfillment of the old and new 
Testament where the laws are no longer written in tablets or stone or in paper, but in the hearts and minds of His people, His children, sons and daughters, in fulfillment of Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in His time. Once again, the flags of the nations. And marching also in this royal parade are the Children's Toy Foundation Incorporated Beneficiaries, one of the major foundations that the Kingdom of Jesus Christ supports. There it feeds, sends to school, gives shelter to 3 million children all over the country and the world. These children are being honed to become future leaders of the Kingdom who are perfected in the Father's love and compassion. These children will soon become the Father's army of goodness, equipped with the spiritual weapon, which is the Word of God and unparalleled faith and love to the Almighty Father, the Creator of all. To offer and pay tribute to the King are the victorious members of the spiritual army of goodness coming from different cities of the world. They too have conquered and became a light of this world, especially to young people in darkness. These are the young leaders who boldly established the Keepers Club International, the organization of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ that restores the dignity and integrity of youth and directing them in doing the Father's will. They have been empowered to propagate the gospel message and spread these good seeds all throughout the world. They were endowed with power, authority, dominion, and victory when they represented the Commander-in-Chief of the Spiritual Army of Goodness. They were commissioned to overpower darkness with the Almighty Father's light and goodness, especially to the young people in society. These young mighty army of goodness give their all in obeying the mandate of the Commander-in-Chief, the appointed Son, in propagating the words of the Almighty Father everywhere they go, affecting goodness and influencing and redirecting others, young people like them, to the path of righteousness, back to the path that leads them to real enlightenment. And as they continue to shine their light, they will also continue to bring more harvest of talents, more harvest of young souls that will be led to the Father's Kingdom nation and will become like them, young mighty warriors of the Almighty Father under the tutelage of the Commander-in-Chief, the appointed Son of God.
And now, marching to the Father's throne are the kingdom's emissaries in different kingdom-like congregations all over the Philippines and the world. Presenting the pillars of the kingdom, the implementers of all the laws decreed by the king, are the kingdom coordinators. These are the kingdom leaders who are being used by the Almighty Father mightily as warriors of the kingdom. They are entrusted by the king to bring in more sons and daughters who have passed the spiritual revolution, to bring in more blessings used for the financial revolution and more talents designed for the revolution of excellence, all for the glory of his kingdom nation here on earth. They are being sent to harvest in the vast field that is ready for a massive harvest. And as the Almighty Father has also entrusted to these kingdom leaders his work, these kingdom coordinators are also being sent to reap in the fruits in the Father's great vineyard that are ready for the great big harvest. and citizens of the kingdom nation but as sons and daughters we are admonished to give glory to the king presenting unto him the fruits of the three pillars of kingdom revelation which completely encompasses his will souls for the spiritual revolution financial blessings for the financial revolution and talents all for the mighty father's kingdom glory and use for the revolution of excellence Romans 9 verse 28 The Almighty Father has done a glorious and marvelous work cut short in righteousness 33 years of blessings and the fruits of the Almighty Father are now being seen to the world here in His kingdom nation where there is no other law but the law of love this is the new heaven and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness one language one people one king and one kingdom These are the kingdom leaders who are being used by the Almighty Father mightily as warriors of the kingdom. They are entrusted by the king to bring in more sons and daughters who have passed the spiritual revolution, to bring in more blessings used for the financial revolution and more talents designed for the revolution of excellence, all for the glory of his kingdom nation here on earth. They are being sent to harvest in the vast field that is ready for a massive harvest. of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son. And tonight, as we give glory to the Almighty Father, we bring unto Him the tribute offering. The tribute is a form of respect, recognition, and gratitude, giving honor and praise to the Almighty Father. It is an expression of praise and thanksgiving. And here in the Father's kingdom of heaven and earth, it is spiritual. And once a year, kingdom leaders fly home as eagles to the New Jerusalem to present their fruits from their areas of responsibility, their countries in the form of thanksgiving and praise, the tribute offering, presenting and laying at the feet of the king, the fruits of the spiritual, financial revolution and the revolution of excellence. And this ceremony, offering thanksgiving through songs of praise and worship to the Almighty Father, the King of Kings 
and the Lord of Lords through His appointed Son, the King of the new creation. The reign of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son. the spirit of meekness that everything we have means nothing if it is not used for the almighty father's glory and purpose in the new world we are not attached to blessings but we are attached to the giver the almighty father who is the source of all blessings and that is why we are admonished that none shall appear before the almighty father empty exodus 34 verse 20 and psalm chapter 29 verse 2 Give unto the Lord glory due unto His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Marching to the Father's throne are the kingdom's emissaries in different kingdom-like congregations all over the Philippines and the world. Presenting the pillars of the kingdom, the implementers of all the laws decreed by the king, are the kingdom coordinators. Once again, the kingdom coordinators coming from the different parts of the Lord. all together and pray. Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of all, through your anointed and appointed son, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kiboloy, today we offer you our utmost praise, the highest honor and tribute for you have chosen this present generation, your holy nation to receive enlightenment coming only from the son of righteousness. We no longer live in the bondage of sin, for you have given us power, authority, dominion, and victory to live freely to your perfect will. And today, as we celebrate this grandiose celebration, where all your faithful sons and daughters, your spiritual army of goodness coming from the four corners of the globe, flying home from the north to south, and east to west to pay tribute to the king. We thank you, more Father, for you have made this tribute holy and acceptable before you, for you have cleansed, sanctified, and made the offers holy to your son. And you have made them bearers of much fruits, fruits that remain, and have grown into the third level of spiritual growth. No longer slaves nor servants, but have become sons and daughters who have overcome, whose commitment and dedication to you and your will remain unchangeable and non-negotiable, just like our model, the appointed son. This is the reason why you took the kingdom of God from the Jewish age and the church age and gave it to your kingdom nation that brings forth much fruits. Finally, fulfilling your scriptures, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now your spiritual government of righteousness 
has covered the entire face of the earth. No division, no space, and no time can stop your message from being trumpeted in seven continents, 200 countries, and 2,000 cities. It began with the obedience of your firstborn and is now being fulfilled in the lives of millions of sons and daughters who are raptured here in your new Jerusalem, the holy city of the living God. Father Almighty, may you continue to bless all your people, all the full-time miracle workers, administrators, kingdom leaders, and kingdom citizens, covenant partners who have become part of the meteoric rise of millions of sons and daughters, the establishment of the Father's spiritual government on earth, much less favor to his appointed son, and inexhaustible blessings. With this, we give back all the glory, honor, all praises, and the thanksgiving to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, our Almighty Father, the Creator of all, our Lord Jesus Christ, through his appointed Son and King, our beloved Pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kiboloy. Amen.
good news, sons and daughters, because the kingdom nation of the Father is no longer a revolutionary movement, but an established spiritual governance on earth. And since it is the appointed son who became the first finished product of salvation, and it is in him that the father and son relationship was restored, then he was appointed to exercise kingship of his father beginning on April 13, 2005. In these last days, is the solidification of all power and authority centered at the father's spiritual government. On the occasion of the 33rd anniversary of God's kingdom here on earth, sons and daughters and appointees to the royal throne from the every corner of the world are marching in righteousness, presenting their glorious tribute in obeisance to the King of Kings and the Father Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, through His appointed Son, the King of the new creation, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kiboloy. Entering now is the kingdom flag, the kingdom banner of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name above every name, waving triumphantly on every face of the earth, reaching 200 countries and 2,000 cities, symbolizing the king's dominion all over the world, where the seeds of righteousness have been sown and where sons and daughters are being born in the spirit. The Kingdom Nation's coat of arms was officially presented on April 13, 2007. It speaks of the completion of the Father's work of salvation in man. Being the Kingdom Nation's official seal, it symbolizes the Almighty Father's triumphant reign through His appointed Son. Its three majestic pillars represent the three pillars of Kingdom Revelations. The nation of Israel has been significant to the birth of the kingdom nation. This is the first chosen nation of the Almighty Father, the first chosen inheritors where the wheels of salvation began to turn. From 2001 BC, with the calling of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the 12 tribes of Israel to 70 AD, they were given the covenant, patriarchs, and prophets paving the way for us to take part on the real message of salvation revealed by His appointed Son, giving birth to the new Israel. The flag of the Philippines, the new Israel, the kingdom of Jesus Christ has thrived and expanded all over the world. Being marched down the aisle is the flag of the Philippines, the birthplace of the kingdom of God here on earth. In fulfillment of his prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is being done in heaven. The sword. The Son's message is the very sword that pierces into the heart of everyone that hears. For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and 
is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The scepter, but unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. The Son and King holds in his hand the scepter of righteousness, ruling and reigning over the Almighty Father's dominion here on earth. For the Son is now the King of the Father's new creation, producing sons and daughters, kingdom leaders, commanded to go to the world to be fruitful and multiply and to subdue the earth and have dominion over the Father's creation. The Bible, every word that is written in the Old and New Testament has been fulfilled in the life of His appointed Son and sons and daughters, establishing the Almighty Father's rule and dominion over the fallen creation. This is a new administration, a new government upon the shoulders of the appointed Son. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And June 18, 2018, officially, the son is the new owner of the world. The crown symbolizes the reign of the Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the greater of all, through His appointed Son, Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy, whom He has appointed heir of all things, King over His new creation, His new name, the new heavens and the new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. He is crowned in His kingship, lifted up over the earth, as his righteous government is now in place, his kingdom nation established, his laws written in the hearts and minds of his people over whom he reigns in power, authority, dominion, and victory. Sons and daughters of the Father here in the New Jerusalem and all over the world, let us welcome the appointed son and king of the Father's new creation, the ruler of his kingdom nation, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kibalor.
joyful hearts, we welcome the appointed Son of God and King of the new creation, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. read the scriptures that are fulfilled in the life of his appointed son. Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 5. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Leap up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Isaiah chapter 62 verses 2 to 3. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Revelation 21, 24, and 26. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And in Revelation 3:12, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down of heaven from God. And I will write upon him my new name. Hallelujah. Let's give all the glory, all the praise, all the thanksgiving to Almighty Father for all the scriptures now fulfilled in the life of his appointed son. You may now be seated, my brothers and sisters. All the nations of the earth, kings and queens and princes and princesses, shall flow forth to the new Jerusalem to bring honor and tribute to the king. Presenting their glorious tributary offerings on this grandiose occasion of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, 33rd anniversary are the sons and daughters representing the kingdom life congregations on every face of the earth. Representing the Emissaries of Light, Ambassadors of Goodness, Royal Appointees to the Kingdom Light Congregations that span seven continents of the world, our sons and daughters who have come from the Kingdom's worldwide domain approach the Royal Throne with their tribute to the King. From the 50 states of the United States of America, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, 
Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. The provinces of Canada, Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Prince Edward Island, Quebec, Saskatchewan, and the countries of Mexico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Panama, El Salvador, and Honduras. In South America, presenting the different parts of Brazil, Goiânia, Sao Paulo, Brasilia, Rio de Janeiro, São Sebastião, Santa Catarina, Guana, Candangolante, and Itapoa, among others. And the nations of Peru, Ecuador, Argentina, Colombia, Paraguay, Venezuela. Also representing the largest continent of the world are the Sentinels of Light from Asia, Hong Kong, Japan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Macau, Cambodia, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, Old Israel, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Nepal, Turkey, Afghanistan, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Brunei, China, East Timor, India, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Laos, Lebanon, Maldives, Mongolia, Myanmar, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Syria, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Vietnam, Yemen, and the United Arab Emirates represent the Emirates of Abu Dhabi, Ajman, Dubai, Fujairah, Ras Al Khaimah, Sharjah, and Um Al Kuwait. In Australia and Oceania, Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Guam. In Europe, United Kingdom, Ukraine, 
Russia, Belgium, Italy, Spain, Sweden, Cyprus, France, Germany, Greece, Armenia, Austria, Azerbaijan, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Georgia, Hungary, Iceland, Ireland, Kazakhstan, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Republic of Macedonia, Malta, Monaco, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Switzerland, in Africa, Kenya, Morocco, Egypt, Libya, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Somalia, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Republic of the Congo, Algeria, Sudan, Tunisia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Namibia, South Africa, Ivory Coast, Gambia, Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, the Kingdom Sentinels of Light in the foreign shores offering their highest, most precious tribute to the King. The fruits of the harvest are the faithful Kingdom Light congregations coming from the different parts of the Philippine Archipelago, National Capital Region, Ilocos Region, Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, Calabar Zone, Mimaropa, Pico Region, Cordillera Administrative Region. Western Visayas, Central Visayas, Eastern Visayas, Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Davao Region, Salt Sargent, Caraga, and the Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao. Davao, the birthplace of the Kingdom Nation, has also birthed Kingdom royalties sons and daughters who are now offering their honorable gifts and tribute to the king of the new creation representing the almighty father's holy and chosen city the center of the recreation of the universe are the sentinels of light and kingdom leaders of the new jerusalem Jamal city walking down the aisle are the representatives bringing the offering of kingdom-like congregations in the New Jerusalem, Davao City, Philippines, where the meteoric rise of millions of sons and daughters began. Northern, Southern, Eastern, and Western Davao, also offering their tribute to the king are the emissaries from the New Jerusalem Satellite KLCs all over Davao del Norte, Davao del Sur, and Davao Oriental. Approaching the Holy Throne are the leaders of the various ministries under the rule and administration of the appointed Son of God. Central and Manila Departments Pastoral Care 
Administration Department, Arts Department, Aviation, the Multimedia Ministry of the Appointed Son, composed of his Global Television Ministry, aired through Sunshine Media Network International, which covers 200 countries and 2,000 cities in Asia, Europe, North, Central, and South America, Africa, Australia, and the Middle East, and the entire Philippines, through Sunshine Free TV 43 Davao, Sunshine Free TV 39 Manila, Sunshine Free TV 39 Butuan, Sunshine Free TV 37 Santiago Isabela, Sunshine Free TV 35 Lawa, Sunshine Free TV 38 Viga, Sunshine Free TV 39 Rojas, Digital Terrestrial TV Channel 40 Manila, and Channels 43 and 19 in Davao, and all over the Philippines through Signal TV, and through more than 500 cable TV affiliates nationwide, the 17 Sunshine Radio stations all over the Philippines, SMNI Creators, the ACQ Publications, including the Pinas, the Filipino Global Newspaper, and Guide Magazine, Information and Communication Technology, and the Music Department, Center for Spiritual Mind, Humanitarian and Environmental Department, consisting of Children's Joy Foundation Incorporated, Sunshine Philippines Movement, Ministry to the Poor, Medical Department, Political Affairs, Royal Transportation, Royal Security, General Services, Human Resource and Management, Lord's Acre, Covenant Mountain and Paradise Garden of Eden Restored, Glory Mountain, Foreign Community, Business Department consisting of JCWMC Cooperative, Galilee Butler, Purple Linen, Day Royal Travel, KJC McDonald's, 7 Eleven, Sensei Hardware and Auto Parts, Education Department composed of the Jose Maria College and the ACQ College of Ministries, Engineering Department. Once again, the leaders of the various ministries under the rule and administration of the appointed Son of God, bringing their royal offerings before the King of Kings' throne of majesty. Whenever his people come before him, 
they must bring an offering or a sacrifice and should not approach him with nothing. That's right. That's why it's only in the Kingdom Nation that we have this tribute to the King where we gather together and present ourselves and our offerings to honor our King. And this simply tells us that when we approach the Father's room, it is a royal protocol to bring an offering before Him. Just like in the time of Solomon, people would come before Him to bring Him gifts to honor Him. In our time today, the appointed Son of God is the fulfillment of the promises of the Almighty Father. He has inherited the sonship and the kingship. And he now sits on the throne not only as the son, but also as king who, re who rules over the father's new creation. The father said, bring your offering to where his temple. And his temple is the appointed son of God, whose name is the father's new name. Our king is attracted to people who give with a willing and grateful spirit. Like anyone else, he likes to know that he is loved and appreciated by those who follow him. And when he is pleased, he extends his favor to them and opens doors of blessings and opportunities. That's right. And what we are bringing before the Father's throne today is a form of giving that surely attracts the Father's blessings and favor. It is a kind of giving that unlocks the blessings of the Almighty Father in heaven. It is a kind of giving that doesn't compromise. It is a kind of giving that honors Him. It is a kind of bless of giving that receives the blessings of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son. Because we give with all of our hearts. We give because it has become part of us. Giving has become part of us. And this is a kind of giving, praise the Father, that is honored and acceptable to the Almighty Father through His appointed Son. Let's give all the glory, all the praise, all the honor and thanksgiving, Almighty Father, as we witness this great in-gathering of sons and daughters as eagles fly home to their new Jerusalem to pay homage and offer their tribute to the King and to speak before the royal host of sons and daughters, kings and queens, princes and princesses, and to bequeath the blessings upon each gift, each offering, each tribute rendered by the rulers of the different realms under the kingdom nation, is the appointed son of God, the firstborn son of the Almighty Father, the king of the kingdom nation and the new creation. Our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Keep the Lord. the Father. Hallelujah. As the appointed Son of God, the firstborn Son, Judge of the Living, bearing the Almighty Father's new name, King of the Kingdom Nation and the new creation, I bequeath the blessings upon its gift, its offering, its tribute rendered by the rulers of the different realms under the kingdom nation. They will be multiplied a thousand and a million fold. The coppers from whence they came shall overflow, and the fields will reap a harvest no barn can contain. In this year of the absolute glorification, of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son and King and the 33rd anniversary of the Father's Kingdom Nation on Earth, the 33rd 
feast of the Passover celebration, I declare overflowing blessings upon the kingdom, territories of light all over the continent of Asia, including all sentinels of light in the Middle East. I pronounce unprecedented blessings upon sons and daughters, kingdom warriors and kingdom light congregations in the United States of America and in all cities and provinces of Canada. I bestow multiple blessings upon the sentinels of light in South America, beginning with Brazil and all the kingdom light congregations in Central America. I proclaim blessings upon sons and daughters in the entire continent of Africa, from the east to the west and its northern and southern territories. I declare much less blessings upon the Kingdom Light congregations in the vast domain of Australia and New Zealand. I pronounce blessings no room enough for the entire continent of Europe. Blessings upon Eastern Europe, most especially the blessed country of Ukraine. <laughs> Philippines, the new Israel, you will be blessed beyond measure. Kingdom departments under the ministry and administration of the appointed Son and King, you will be blessed beyond compare. Dabao City, God's chosen, the new Jerusalem, receive the abundant rain of the Almighty Father's blessings upon you, physically, financially, and above all, spiritually. Kingdom citizens, kingdom leaders, coordinators, ministers, kingdom administrators, battle-tested kingdom warriors, full-time miracle workers who are with us here bodily and in the spirit, spiritual soldiers of goodness who have been with me faithfully through the years, your toiling and sacrifices, your commitment and dedication and not, are not in vain. I pronounce multiple blessings upon your lives and your loved ones. Appointed sons and daughters, your lives shall continue to reflect the glory and honor of the Almighty Father as the salt of the earth and as lights of the world. This year is like no other in the kingdom nation, for this year is the year of the absolute glorification of the Almighty Father through His appointed Son. Souls shall flow and enter into the kingdom gates wherever you are in the world. Blessing shall overtake each one of you. The Almighty Father's favor shall follow you all the days of your life. As you take part in the great spiritual harvest and establishment of the Father's sentinels of light all over the world, this blessing shall overflow unto you continuously. In 33 years' time, the kingdom ministry has become the fastest growing, most progressive, and most promising spiritual congregation in the world. And this is not without the Almighty Father's hand of blessings and favor upon us. This is 
the Father's own kingdom nation of sons and daughters freed of the serpent seed of disobedience and filled with the spirit of obedience to the Father's will, to the Father's word, everywhere in the entire world. As his manner of revelations have been our pillar of cloud by day and our pillar of cloud of fire by night through these past 33 years, his overflowing blessings shall fill our barns, shall multiply the harvest, and shall reproduce millions of sons and daughters in an unprecedented manner. Once again, sons and daughters of the Kingdom Nation here in the New Jerusalem and joined by millions of sons and daughters all over the world, happy 33rd anniversary of the Kingdom Nations to all of you, sons and daughters of the Almighty Father, Kingdom leaders, pillars of the Kingdom of God here on earth, from the four corners of the world, may the Almighty Father our Lord Jesus Christ's marvelous and bountiful blessings shall be upon you now and forever. Happy 33rd anniversary of the Father's Kingdom Nation!
tribute to the king.
You have just witnessed another majestic ceremonies of sons and daughters of the Almighty Father in His royal household, paying their tributes to the King, tributes that are pleasing and acceptable in the sight of the Almighty Father. Yes, Chris, but this royal occasion continues as the Kingdom Nation celebrates 33 glorious years and the Feast of the Passover where the appointed Son of God, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo Sikiboloi, leads us all to our freedom from the bondage of the serpent seed. And we can never imagine the works of the Almighty Father because in just a short span of time, we have witnessed before our very own eyes on how the Father immensely poured His blessings in His Kingdom Nation. That beginning from one man and 15 members, it has meteorically risen to 35,000 kingdom-like congregations around the world in 200 countries and 2,000 cities. Yes, Chris, and on that note, we invite all of you to continue to join the whole Kingdom Nation from wherever you are in the world in this grandest time of merriment as you continue to tune in only here in Sunshine Media Network International and receive spiritual blessings that you have never experienced before. Praise the Father! Praise the Father.